Hello and welcome back once again to Cut Content. Cut Content. The show where we, well not actually me and Ben, someone else comes along and cuts things out of the world of video gaming forever. They're gone. Yeah, we have our friends, we have a friend in... Uh, me? From, you got a friend in me? Well, I mean, we have a friend in, in You've in got you. a friend I've in I've got me. a friend in, yeah. A as a, as classic as a, smooth intro from up, us. Up above, and that's the, yeah, yeah. The Toy Story. Uh, we have a friend in every episode uh, from the, I nearly said month, but no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from the industry, uh, who is supposed to know what they're talking about. So with us today... From PlayStation Access and other areas of the internet, yeah. it's Rosie Caddick. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rosie. How Hello, are guys. you? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you guys, my lovelies? Oh, we're doing okay. Oh, um, you doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I think, think so. I think so too. <laughs> yeah. Last time you checked, you were you were still going strong. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm still alive. You're still alive. I am still alive. Yeah, Just despite that intro. Yes. Ooh, well, that's one really, yes. Yeah, it, yeah. it was a beautiful intro. Yeah. I love Toy Story. I love I love all the sing songs as well. So well done, guys. See, yeah. Rosie liked it. Yeah, okay. Why can't you be just be a bit more supportive sometimes? I well, I wasn't talking. I was talking about my own performance. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I thought, well, don't don't you dare criticize me. Absolutely not. Believe it. <laughs> now, Rosie, you can be found on on a practically day to day basis over at PlayStation Access, making loads of amazing video game videos, right? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's my my day to day job. So you can always find me there if you want to mm. see my dumb face more <laughs> <laughs> you won't allow that that kind of talk no not at all <laughs> it's a clever face it's a clever face for video games yeah well i'm fine i'm gonna pull a double chin so that it can make <laughs> me look even more dumb <laughs> I, I saw you doing your, your Crash Bandicoot Platinums the other day on live stream at time of oh, recording. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah. Wow. I saw you oh. doing Tomb Raider and bouncing on those TNTs. It's tricky stuff. I know. I was I, I was very nervous. I legit, I thought I needed only two gold relics for the whole, and I was like, oh yeah, this will be a really nice, nice happy Platinum Monday. Bit of a challenge. And then when I found out I needed six, I was six, like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. I wish I knew what you guys were talking about because oh. I'm not a big Crash guy. Oh, you'll have to catch up. Yeah, well, oh. I'll have to watch the VOD. The VOD available at youtube.com forward slash PlayStation Access, I assume. Presumably. Presumably, Who's Rosie, is that right? Yes, it is all there. You can you can watch me be a bit cross in Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, one of Perfect. my favorite games. Yeah. Perfect. So it's fair to say that you know what you're talking about, Rosie. You've been playing games like for a long so. time. You do games professionally. And now we're going to cut some stuff. Yeah. Yes! Forever! Time to be brutal! It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be lethal. Yeah, stand back everyone. <sighs> yeah, first, take take a breather guys, take a seat. This is it, the, we're, go we're gonna get... Gaming decisions will be made. <laughs> they will be. This is gonna change the face of gaming forever with number one, dot dot dot, what is it? So, my number one is, I don't know why I put my fingers up as five when I was like, number one. <laughs> number so, five? <laughs> Number five, you won. So my first entry is pausing in horror games. A part of, like, the coward side of me is like, no, why would you do this? You need to pause in order to take a breather when things get really, really scary. Mm. But on the other hand, it's like, that's part of the experience. Like, I only kind of started realising this when games like Bloodborne started coming out because, well, Bloodborne was my first, like, Souls game. So that was my first experience where... I was playing a game and you know when things get really intense and then you just want to pause it but you can't mm -hmm. yeah and that made the stakes so much higher and i just like pausing just was it it was like you only did it when you were really safe mm -hmm. yeah. so and i've been like throughout my years of playing games whenever i've played a horror game my I, if i played one of them with my brother um, he'd always be like, oh, you're not allowed to pause the game. You have to have the force. I'm not going to let you pause it if you get scared, Rosie. That's cheating. Because, like, I used to, if I got too scared, I'd just pause the game and I'll just be like, 
I don't want to play anymore. I can't boot it up. I can't carry on with it anymore. <laughs> it shows how scary and terrifying the game is, but at the same time, it's like the game hasn't been made for you to pause it and not carry on with it. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Like, it, yeah, I guess it can affect the immersion. I remember like um, playing something like Resi 4 in like the middle of a really, you know, intense battle or whatever with a, a whole group of enemies and. Mm. In order to change weapons, you actually have to go into your inventory, which pauses the action. It also dips the music down. And I remember even that, like, that wasn't me going into the inventory because I, I needed a breather. It was like, oh, I just need to change to my flash grenade or whatever. And you go into the inventory and you, you know, it, it goes from... <laughs> and then suddenly it's just very peaceful for a bling, moment. Bling, 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 well, yeah, almost. Yeah, and then it's just all peaceful and then you might have a giant fish in your inventory and that yeah. makes you happy. <laughs> Somewhat ruins the, the atmosphere, so I can, I can see your reasoning. But then you also got some games as well that nowadays punish you for pausing. Yeah. I know mm. that was especially a big thing when um, back when PT was available. Oh, mm. God. Do yeah. you remember that when you paused it and then you started hearing voices and the game was like punishing you for like, oh, it was horrible. It could still get you, right? She still got you even when you were paused. I think someone, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of hearsay surrounding yeah. PT because it is sort of, uh, it makes Mythical. it makes you experience things that you don't necessarily experience. But mm. yeah. I remember seeing that someone was definitely snooked up on right while they just left it paused and they came back and then it just she was just there on the screen yeah yeah Ugh. are you a horror pauser ben well the thing is you've you've already covered the two examples i was going to give on each side right. because i think dark souls and bloodborne are particularly excellent examples of how how to handle pausing in in those sorts of games where mm. you're not really safe in fact if you see sort of streamers and pro dark souls players sort of manage their inventory, especially speedrunners. They get onto lifts and during that idle time, they are rapidly going through menus mm. and- Oh, that's such a good and, idea. like applying rings and taking things off, stuff that they need for the next area. Again, as Peter said, I totally get the, the pausing, but not really pausing. It makes a huge yeah. difference. And Resi, I think is a big, is a, is a I, I would be interested to see how Resi could handle not pausing. As it were. I, I'm not much of it, apart from in Resi where I literally had to to go into my inventory, I'm not much of an actual pauser in horror, even when there's something big, big and scary going on, you know. But that's not necessarily because I'm a big, brave boy who doesn't mm. need to pause. <laughs> oh, you're so brave! <laughs> Sadly not. It's more that I'm just sort of stupid and forgetful enough to realise that, you know, there is that option for a breather. I'm just, I'm, I get that kind of... Uh, overwhelmed in those moments where I'm like, I just need to, I just need to sort this out. I just need to get out of this rather than think maybe I could just pause and have mm. have five seconds to catch my breath. Yeah, but. I just remember when I was younger, I used to do it all the blooming time. Like I was always pausing it when things got too scary. I don't do it as much anymore mm -hmm. unless things get. Because one thing I can't stand is like like heavy breathing kind of noises going right in your ear <laughs> mm -hmm. and like behind you though that creeps me out so like moments like that if, if it even happened in like metal gear solid 3 snake eater when you're fighting the end i remember there was one moment where he was just breathing and <laughs> i never thought i'd just pause out of pure fear in metal gear solid 3 but i did at that moment just because i just completely freaked out from the like the oh, God. just the end breathing heavily down i was like oh my gosh and then as soon as i unpaused i got punished anyway but <laughs> yeah you know, it seems like the kind of thing that mr kojima oh, would uh mr. Kojima. Friend, would, would do something clever with you know where oh if you pause in a scary moment it's actually actually deletes your save data oh right? god he would though wouldn't he <laughs> <laughs> something like that yeah. so that's it then i think and in and usually in in our sort of usual overreactive cut content fashion. Mm. I believe pausing has now been cut from every horror game yeah. ever made. Yeah. Ha ha slash So <laughs> so says Rosie. Yeah. It's well done. you might you might say haha -ha now, Rosie, but next time you're in the middle of, you know, a, a super intense run, you you've got the boss down to two percent and then someone rings the door, oh what are you gonna do? Mm. You know? But that's that's the oh, con man. consequence of your actions. Yeah. Oh man! Well, no, this is for horror games. So if I'm in a horror game, I might not necessarily be on a boss. <laughs> true. That and also, true. if if it's a very important person at the door, then I might just be like, oh, I accept my death. Off I die, and then okay. I'll be polite and answer the door. Yeah. Pete's, Peter's here. 
I've got to wait up. Yeah, a very yeah. important person. If it's pizza time. Very important pizza time. <laughs> you've got to you've got to just rush for that door, even yeah. if you got the cleric beast sniffing down your neck. You can't you can't not. Yeah, cleric beast crying out at me and everything. I'm like, no, shut up, sit in the corner, cleric beast. Pizza's no. at the door. Yeah, it's, it's farmhouse pizza time, my dude. You get it. <laughs> He's just sat in the corner <laughs> doing the Sonic Kid. <laughs> when will we <you> learn? <laughs> when will we <you> learn? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's time to step things up. I think it is. Okay. Should we move on to point two? Let's. Okay, my point number two, if I was a, a gaming lord and I could cut content out would be, this is more referring to older games. I don't see it as much in newer games anymore, but it's still a thing. And that is tank controls in tight platforming games. Okay. Now, to give you a bit of context, I'm referring to games such as Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. Yes. Um, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider. The Age of Darkness. Yeah. And, like, older Tomb Raider games in general. Okay. Perfect. So, first of all, I want to say, with the for, like original Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, I think that most of the time they do it really well because Tomb Raider's designed you're in really wide open cave spaces mm. and even the moments where there are platforming you've got the mechanic of that you can walk and you can just walk up to the edge, jump back and then that gives you time to kind of manoeuvre with the tank controls but there are still moments, for example, like when you're Lara and you've got to pull a switch down on the wall so many oh times God, with the yeah. tank you know what I mean? Like the tank controls, you're just like swaying doing these really long big old curves around the floor <laughs> just to try and pull down a switch. Yeah, they eventually added a sidestep, didn't they? But certainly not in the first, definitely not in the first game, and I think the second game as well didn't have any sidesteps. So you would like walk up to something on the wall, and if you're slightly off, then yeah, you've got to do that sway. Yeah, I believe the first game had the sidestep. Oh, did it? I think it did, but that's the thing, it doesn't really tell you, like where's the tutorial, I don't think it explains that it does have like a sidestep if you're up against a wall. And, oh. I would, and I think you had to like hold down R2 or something and then Lara could like shimmy. I think it was that was the case anyway. But I think the biggest one for me was in, I mean, I love this game. I'm very nostalgic for it, but it is in Croc Legend of the Gobbos. Mm -hmm. Tell us about now, Croc. That is a prime example of a game that's designed to be a really fun like platformer, let's say like Crash Bandicoot or something like that. But it, why did they choose the tank controls? It's even the same with Bubsy 3D. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that you've game. Got, good old Bubsy. <laughs> it's like you've got these platforms that are moving around in the air and they're small and they can switch between each other and sometimes you jump on it and it might shake a little bit. Or you have uh, some platforms where if you step on like the forward arrow, it will go forward, but also you need to go right and left. So you, you're there with the tank controls fighting against you the whole time. Mm -hmm. And if you do need to make those like tight jumps on the platforms, like let's say there's a platform that's higher above you and happy old little croc just needs to get up there. You're just constantly like, it's a risk. Every jump you take is a risk. And especially in the later levels when it starts really picking up on like what look like awesome levels, but then just the tank controls, you're like, <laughs> well, he's got he's got a slightly weird movement, like an unconventional sort of momentum to him as well, hasn't he, Croc? Like when you start running, I don't know. There's something about the way he accelerates that is pretty strange, you know. Yeah, didn't he? Like he kind of start. He didn't start walking, but you could tell that he gradually picked up the pace. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a funny thing. I think it like worked. You know, I think it was interesting. I don't think it was like badly done, but yeah, mm. it's yeah. Tank controls in a 3D platformer like that are, yeah, not the best idea. It's yeah. exactly the reason I could never play Tomb Raider games. Oh yeah? Just because oh, I really? found them so, so just, I just couldn't. I just, I can't even think of the word to describe how frustrating it is to play an early Tomb Raider game. Oh. And I realized they were, they were an important stepping stone mm. towards non-tank controls. Yeah. But I just, I just think it's so horrible, and and I appreciate it probably has a nostalgic value for a lot of people who played it growing up. But mm. I just, I tried it on PC, I tried it on PS One as well. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do the tanks. Yeah, I think for the most <laughs> part, like it, it controlled well enough in that like, Tomb Raider quite, I mean almost infamously, I would say the the early games were very blocky in that things were almost. You know, they were kind of obviously made out of the same sized squares and slopes everywhere you looked. Mm. You know, it wasn't yeah. wasn't exactly a smooth looking game. But 
the size of those squares was pretty consistent throughout the level. And、yeah. if you tapped backwards、uh, on your controller, she would jump back exactly one square's distance,、mm -hmm. which would be just enough to, if you started running from that point and then jumped, then she would jump just as she reached the end. So there was some like quite clever stuff done in that. Okay, tap backwards. That's one unit of distance.、Yeah. And the, you know, the exact, that's also the same amount of run up that you need to jump just at the edge. But yeah, it's the turning really that、yeah. that's where it falls down, unfortunately. Well, that's what I mean. Like, with Tomb, like, I, like earlier, I said that、uh, like, Tomb Raider does a really good job of, because I feel like the whole game, it knew it was going to have tank control. So they designed the whole kind of the caves and the platforms, like you said, are like when you jump backwards, it's perfectly in time with just that one、mm. second jump thing. So I think that, like, obviously, I'm, like, people, some people, Find the controls a bit more frustrating in the original Tomb Raider, but I know, yes, there are some like very tight moments. Like, you know, if you're like in Tomb Raider 2, when you're like going in a couple of housey areas, I believe in like Venice. I remember、yeah. that being like a bit of like, oh dear, off she goes, going to run into a wall for a bit. Go on, Lara, <laughs> off she goes. But,、um, but yeah, I still personally, I still think that the original Tomb Raider is kind of. Did the best they could with it,、uh, mm -hmm. but games like Bubsy 3D and Croc, when they're like designed to be f like free running platformers, but they've decided to add tank controls in, it's just like, oh, why? Yeah, especially when there was already the precedent of like, you know, like you mentioned Crash, you know, that was already out when Croc came out. Uh, you'd think they would just look at that and go, yeah, this is, this is how it should be done. This worked pretty、yeah. well.、Mm. We will copy that. But no, apparently not. You know, if they were the first ever 3D platformers, you would think you would, you know, they would have the excuse of like, well, we didn't really know which one to do. We、yeah. had these options, but yeah, Crash had already sorted that one out. Can you imagine Uncharted 4 with tank control? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Can that you imagine? Feel ill. <laughs> just trying to jump on. I just, want to, I just want to use my grappling hook. Nathan! Nathan, please! Just do it! God damn just, it, kid! Just swing from the thing, Nathan! <laughs> No arguments here from us. No. You know, it's one thing with the, the horror pause, and you can see both sides, of the, both sides、mm. of the argument, but I think with this,、mm -hmm. we've got to cut it straight away. So, what does that、so、mean, Peter? Well, it means that we've removed all tank controls from any game with, <laughs> any, game. with any platforming、uh, <laughs> mechanics whatsoever. How, so, you, they're unplayable now because you can't move in them. Is、yeah, we're not, we're not replacing it with regular controls.、It's、we're just, just removing the tank. <laughs> you boot it up, and Lara stands there for as long as you want the game to be on for. Yeah, you can jump on the spot. You can pull your pistols out. You can, you can a... shoot some bats if they're flying in the air. Yeah, you can sidestep, but that's it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, side you can sidestep. Yeah, you can sidestep. You can jump forward. I think. Does that count? It's cut. <laughs> yeah, it's all cut. Tomb Raider is is unplayable now. I thought you were going to say Tomb no, Raider is cut. We just cut Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is gone. No, Tomb Raider is fine, but it's just not playable anymore. So thank you, Rosie. Okay, you、that. can play sort of Tomb Raider Legends onwards. You know. Yeah. I, I quite like those ones. Tomb Raider Anniversary was good. I like the original Tomb、too. Raiders are still playable. God, this is getting more brutal than I thought. I was just thinking of Croc and Bubsy, and then when you're like, it's cut from Tomb Raider, I was like, no, Tomb Raider does it well. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Poor Lara. Careful what you wish for, Rosie. <laughs> I love the original Tomb Raiders. <laughs> it's a dangerous show. Yeah, you ruined it's it. Dangerous. It's a dangerous show. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined that beloved game. You also can't pause in Tomb Raider no, now because no, it's you slightly <laughs> horror themed. There's no pausing. Not, <laughs> right, let's see how. You, are you going to remove pistols from games now? Yeah, what's happening no, next? Just hair, <laughs> just breast, st startup menus, <laughs> anything else? Number three. <laughs> number three is. Okay, no, this number three. I, the, like this one, I, I don't have any. No, no conflicts with or anything like that. Okay.、Mm -hmm. Number three is. Those tutorials that stop you dead in your tracks.、Mm, okay. So, okay. for example, you've got a game like an、uh, example that comes to mind Sonic Heroes、mm -hmm. um, on the PlayStation 2. I remember, like, obviously, in a game like Sonic, you want to run around and be really fast, and it's awesome because you've got three characters you can control like, within the level, and you're like, oh my god, this is great, I'm getting used to the controls. And then you're running forward, and suddenly Omachal will just stop the character in their tracks as if they've just hit like an invisible wall.、Oh, yeah. And just they can be like, hello, I'm Omachal, and welcome to the tutorial. And then you're like, okay, shut up, skip, skip, skip. And then you go running a bit further, and it's like two steps, and it's like, now hang on a minute, welcome, this is how you move. And, you're like, <laughs> and everything you try and do, you're just, even if, because in a tutorial, 
let's say you're Sonic and you're running around in circles, you're naturally going to be playing around with the buttons anyway to see what they're doing. Mm. So if you've already figured out how to jump and then you see an area where like you have to jump up a couple of steps, whereas with modern games nowadays, they just give you a little prompt and they don't stop you in your tracks with the, with the older games anyway. Uh, some of the time they just... They would be like, even though you knew how to do it, they'd just be like, no, stop. Let me explain how you jump. And they'd do be like, it. No, I, yeah, no, this I is a glide jump. spiral. Get, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, games should, I mean, well, I'm, if we're talking about older games, I can understand why they didn't have the capabilities for this. But even nowadays, yeah. like, games should have just a little check inside them to see if, like, oh, have you already pressed the X button and realized that that means jump? Or, you know, are you aware of this? Because if you've done a jump, it no longer needs to tell you when and how to jump. But there are games where, in order to get to the bit where they tell you how to use your gun, you have to shoot a target off the wall. You have to use your wall. gun. Yeah. Yeah. You have to <laughs> jump up to a platform and it goes, oh, hey, press the X button to jump. Uh, yes, Thanks. I know. Thanks so much. I'm here, aren't press I? Press the square button to interact. Yeah. How do you think I'm talking to you, you <laughs> idiot? <laughs> yeah, which is not specifically what you mentioned as your as your cut thing, but I just wanted to air that grievance. That it's fine. okay. We can we can combine it all together for this for this uh, a cut shenanigan. Yes, <laughs> Rosie, what do you prefer? A tutorial that sort of leaves you little hints, like like a Bloodborne, for example. Like this mm -hmm. is how you swing your weapon. This is how you dodge. This is how you lock on. But it's all just little stuff on the floor that you can ignore if you want. A tutorial that actively stops you in your tracks and funnels you through a shooting range, or one of those ones that actively locks off controls until it's told oh you how to gosh. do them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, which is my favourite one? Or oh, which is the worst? Which, yeah, what I don't know. How would you rank those? Well, definitely the best one are ones like Bloodborne and like, or even recently, for example, like Death Stranding, when the game is designed that naturally you will come across these sort of like challenges and then you can either just carry on the game without taking notice to them or if you maybe want a little refresher like in Bloodborne you can just go and like trigger one of I can't remember what they're called one of the like little on the floor things yes yeah. the notes uh, you know, the notes yeah <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what the actual the name was the raw things yeah yeah and like or you could just like go up to one of them and like talk to them and be like oh do you mind giving me a quick refresher and it's just like oh press circle to attack and you're like brilliant thanks bump and then you carry on mm -hmm. easy um, oh. I mean, because recently I was also I've been playing Death Stranding, and the tutorial on that was was lovely because I was just walking around and every now and then it just sort of, grad it just went oh by like this is this is gonna happen this is how you can fix it and I was just like brilliant thanks game and it didn't stop me or anything I was just like right off I go on sand bridges like off he goes mm. and it was great <laughs> yeah. so I learned that way. A, a game that I think did it quite well was um, Spider Man. Yeah. Um, in the, it did sort of, yeah. it kind of made you do a thing. So it was like, okay, now we're going to teach you how to do this web zip or whatever. But it did it by quickly just flashing up a thing saying, here's how you do it. And it was in a situation where it felt like you wanted to do it anyway, because there's like three enemies running at you in perfect formation for this attack or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it almost, I think it even went slow-mo possibly, did yeah. it? Yeah, and it yeah. just threw yeah. you into it. He, he literally threw himself out of a window and it's yeah. like, time to swing, I suppose. I, I'm not seeing what happens <laughs> if you don't press the button. I think it eventually get, uh, slows to a full stop, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, full stop. Yeah, a complete full stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I, I, just, I don't well. know why. You it just reminded me, it wasn't in a tutorial, but it just made me think of, uh, there's another Spider-Man game, I think there's like a quick time event, and if you don't press the button, <laughs> yeah. you're like in the a Mary burning Jane building. One. Yeah, and I'm I think if you die, don't press... I'm going to die, <laughs> And then if you don't press the button, he just lands on his stomach. He's like, <laughs> yeah, and then the whole building explodes. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. I have two tutorials, I know we're just talking about tutorials We are now, now but that's okay. I'll tell you my favourite tutorial. It's from Fahrenheit, or Indigo Prophecy, if you want to get serious about this. Yeah. Uh, it's just got David Cage in it. He right. just says, hello, I'm David Cage, welcome to my game. And he just sort of Frenchly explains <laughs> how to press buttons when they show up on screen. Mm. And it's just, it's just so David Cage and it's brilliant and so awful. But my least favorite one mm. is probably Final Fantasy XIII because that tutorial, that game teaches you things for the first 30-ish hours Right. And you're, it's still giving you new oh, information. Mm -hmm. And so that's the longest tutorial I think I've ever played. And it's bad. Oh, oh no. I haven't played 13 yet, so I, I, oh, I have yet to experience that. Yet. 
Don't, Rosie, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm really curious as to see what everyone's saying about it. It's a very pretty game. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm not I think it's probably still quite a pretty game. It was very pretty at the time on PS3, but it's... It was just really dull. Like, none of the characters are likeable. You don't really care about anything that's happening in it. Just... Isn't it the one with the guy who's got a chocobo in his hair? Yes, it is. In his hair. Is that enough? Is that enough to make you play it? That's enough to make me play it. I just want to see a chocobo in Dan a man's hair. Zaz, I think his name is. What, a real, a little tiny he's chocobo? He's got a tiny chocobo. He's got an afro and he's got a little chocobo in it. But it lives in there or it lives is it in a, there. a toy one? It's real. I, I don't know how the I don't know how he feeds it right. or where it goes to the toilet or any of that. Or regurgitation, I guess. He just sort of goes, eh, 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 like, And then just flips it up like a hair. seal. <laughs> yeah, like birds do. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Well, don't play that game, Rosie. Don't do that to yourself. Otherwise, you'll be yes. cutting that next time you're on the show. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think... I mean, I'm already, everything I've said, let's cut this. I'm like, no, but wait. <laughs> <laughs> there are, there, I love all things in video games. This was really hard. <laughs> well, well you've, you've done brilliantly. You have. Uh, unfortunately, though, you have cut all tutorials. All tutorials? All tutorials are gone. That's a bit excessive. All, all of them are gone. Everything I've said, you guys have taken to the next level. <laughs> I just said tutorials where you get stopped in your tracks. You did. But unfortunately, Ben has spoken, apparently. No. <laughs> this is how it works here. Yeah. You say the one thing, Lord. we do something way worse. <laughs> and that's it. We've removed all tank controls from all games, whether they're good or bad. Team Raider is unplayable. Team Raider is no. unplayable. Uh, there's no tutorials. <laughs> no tutorials anymore. At all. <laughs> no. And what was the horror one? Ah. Pausing. There's no pause There's no menus. pausing in horror games anymore. Yeah. No pausing at all. Mm. Good luck with that inventory management. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no, I take back everything I said. It's too late, they've gone. It's gone, Rosie. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Can't stick it back on. It's cut content, not... What not... if I got sellotape? Um, yeah, okay, sellotaped content. I mean, we're easily bribable. Thank you. Yeah. We'll take, if you could send us some sellotape, <laughs> yeah, we'll... We'll, we'll reinstate it all. But unfortunately, the video has now been recorded and will go out as is. Mm. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure at some point we'll get you back on, and maybe you could reinstate some of those things and swap them for things you think are more deserving of being cut. Yeah. I know, I was trying to think of things that haven't been covered on this show, and I was just, it was really hard because your previous guests have said things that I would have cut, and I was just like, <laughs> I have to think of new things. Is there a things. game that you, that you hate? Is there like a game that you just cannot stand? You don't strike me as someone who hates anything. No. But is there a game <laughs> that you, you would be happy if it didn't exist in the world? Probably one game that it's the only time I've actually re felt like ill. It actually made me sick oh. and well, not made me sick, but made me feel really sick and I had a throbbing headache and that is Shrek's Treasure Hunt. <gasps> oh, we've played that on Worst Games Ever. God. Oh my God, it's, oh. Would you like to me... cut Shrek, Shrek's Treasure Hunt? Yeah, should we cut Shrek? Yeah, let's cut okay. Shrek's Treasure Hunt. Okay, Shrek is cut from the world <laughs> we now. Deleted that. Shrek is gone. <laughs> deleted that episode of Worst Games Ever from our channel. Rosie just removed Shrek from popular <laughs> culture. Yeah. It's gone. See, it's dangerous, it's, right? You yeah. need to be careful what you wish for here. Definitely. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, thank you so much, Rosie. Uh, thank you. For ruining games um, and, and for your general presence. No, thank you guys for having me. It's been a great laugh and I've had an awful lot of fun. And you guys are gems, so thank you very much for inviting me. You're a gem too, Rosie. Oh, you're, no, you're a gem. No, shut up. You're a gem. No, shut Stop up. It. You're a gem. Come Stop on. It. For sure. <laughs> Rosie, if people want to find you on a, on a day to day basis, we've already said PlayStation Access, but do you have any links or social media you'd like to plug or anything like that? Go go for it. Oh. I do. Um, so obviously, you can catch me on PlayStation Access on YouTube. Um, I also do my own stuff on the side on YouTube called Professor Juice. So if you type that in on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find me. I've been my normal self. And also <laughs> on Twitter, you can follow me at RosieCaddick. 88, I believe, is my username, <laughs> I think. Now, anyway, you never really think about it, do you, until you actually have to say it? Yeah, no, you're but right. I'm, I'm, I'm I think you're sure right. It's... I think you got it right. That sounds I'm right. I'm pretty that sure it's Rosie right. 88. Yeah. If not, we'll flash up the correct one on screen, but I'm sure you were right. I was right. going to say, I'm going to double check on my phone. <laughs> yes, Rosie Caddick 88, I was correct. Excellent. Got it right. There you go. Well. Well, that's it. It's That's all, that's all there is to say now. Thank you very much. <sighs> I think we all just need to be brave. Yeah. Take a deep breath mm -hmm. and take a step out into this new Tomb Raiderless world and Shrek no, no world. No, no Tomb Raiderless world. And and remember also check your inventories in in the quiet areas because oh my god you can't pause for anything else if it if it gets intense. Zombies don't care. No, they don't care. They don't care anymore. No. They're like oh he's paused. Hang on, everybody stay still. Oof. I'm scared. Everybody I'm... freeze. 
I don't think I want to play any more games now. I'm too, I'm too worried about what might happen. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Rosie, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. And I'm sure we will see you in real life very soon. Mm. Yes, hopefully. Hopefully very soon. Very soon. Excellent. Thank you for watching everybody at home. We'll be back with a new episode very soon. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourselves. Bye! Bye! Bye.